Hi YouTube, Sister Scaleback coming in halfway through the week again. I uh, wanted to thank everybody for my excellent birthday that I had. I received well over a hundred Elvis pictures, videos, posts. It was it was terrific. Um, thanks so much for that. You made my day. Um, you all know how much Elvis means to me, and that was that was one of the best birthdays ever. So thank you very much for that. Um, this is actually Monday night. This is officially my nine-week post-op R&Y gastric bypass day. Um, I, of course, don't officially weigh until Wednesday when I go to TOPS. If you've been following me, you know I'm a regular TOPS person. And so I, I trust their scale. Uh, but as of now, I'm exactly the same weight as I was last week, which is 313 pounds. So uh, I haven't moved um, up or down. <laughs> Um, I think I have a habit of doing that. I, I lose really good for a week or two and then I just stay where I am for a week or two and it seems to be going that way. So maybe there is um, a pattern that I can figure out or maybe not. I don't want to twist my mind trying to figure it out. Um, as soon as I try to do that, something will change. Uh, I am, however, starting to worry that Overall, um, I have only lost, and I don't like saying only lost, <laughs> but 26 pounds since surgery in nine weeks. And hey, okay, that's still 20, 26 pounds less than I would have lost if I hadn't had the surgery. But um, I see everybody. I don't think there's anybody that's losing slower than me uh, that I know. And I follow a lot of YouTube videos, a lot of people. Um, so 26 pounds in, in nine weeks. Um, I wonder, like I have no thyroid and I, I lost it when I was 25 years old and I have had to take a pill ever since. Um, and even before I had the surgery, I wasn't, uh, what's the word to say? I wasn't a fast gainer and I wasn't a fast loser. I was always very around the same weight for a long time. Um, of course I ate too much, but I didn't eat really terribly bad food. I didn't eat junk food. I didn't eat um, cake and ice cream chips and pop I mean I did have Diet Coke for years and I gave that up a year before my surgery giving it up didn't do anything to me I didn't lose any weight from that some people have said they do but I didn't um, and I'm wondering if it's my metabolism because of my thyroid so if I'm averaging one or two pounds a week I've had the occasional week with five pounds yay that's exciting when that happens, but the average, I think, is about two pounds a week. Um, if you average it all over the, the stalls and the no, not losing. I'm wondering if it has to do with my thyroid. So basically what I'm getting down to is if there's anybody out there who doesn't have thyroid, who has to take that pill every day, you know, weigh in and let me know what you think about that. Um, I know I don't do near as much as I should in a day. Uh, physically, activity-wise, I walk uh, once a day. I'm starting to think I need to do that twice a day, maybe, because I, I don't have the stamina to go as far as I probably should. I'm doing a mile a day. But maybe if I did a mile twice a day, it would be better for me. Just It's a matter of making myself do that. Um, when I'm still this big, it hurts to do it and uh, so excuses I know yeah forget that but anyway I'm thinking on trying to do that twice a day uh, to see if that boosts my loss the other problem that I not problem but the other concern I have is that I can eat a fair amount of food and when I say fair amount I mean compared to other people I hear saying a couple of ounces, I can eat five ounces in a meal. Um, I'm staying away most of the time from starches. I'm eating meat and vegetable, very low starch vegetables like uh, cabbage, um, 
uh, asparagus, um, broccoli, cauliflower, that sort of thing. And now the only thing I have had is um, pasta sauce, which is a little high on the sugar, but under the limit of what I need to have. So I guess it's not that bad. Uh, it just gives flavor to, you know, for example, I made cabbage hash today and I, and I used that sauce in there. Uh, no rice, just to give it that cabbage, cabbage roll flavor. Um, I probably had three quarters of a cup of that for supper. Not all at once because I had probably a quarter cup and then 10 or 15 minutes later I'm like oh that was really good so I'm gonna try it again and I had another quarter cup and then about an hour later I'm like I'm gonna try that some more so I had another quarter of a cup so over the course of an hour or more I had three quarters of a cup. Um, for breakfast I have one egg uh, usually one cheese stick melted on it or one slice of cheddar on it. Um, it probably equals an ounce of cheese. And sometimes I'll have uh, zucchini or red pepper, something in the egg. The only food I have trouble with is onion, really. Um, and I don't know why, but I do. Uh, so I, do, I avoid the onion and and milk of course can't do milk still um, you know I'm just brainstorming I'm just throwing it out there trying to get you guys to help me figure out what I'm doing wrong or what I need to do more of or less of or you know for lunch today I had um, Oscar Mayer deli turkey lunch meat the real thin shaved kind I had about four slices of that rolled up in a cheese slice. Uh, when I say cheese slice, I mean real cheddar. Um, uh, low fat. Hmm. And uh, probably in a little bit, I'll have a, a Danone yogurt before uh, I go to bed. Not right before I go to bed, but an hour or two before I go to bed. I do drink a lot of water at least six cups to eight cups a day. I guess that's not a lot of water, but it's, uh, oh, that's on top of the fact that I have usually one coffee a day, which is another cup of fluid. So I'm not sure why I'm not losing as fast as some, and I don't know if there's a science to it. I'm sure there is. Uh, I'm sure it has to do with metabolism, age. You know, I'm 48 years old. Um, but I know people who are older and they've, they're they losing more. So again, I'm not supposed to be comparing myself, I know, but you know what? I am. I just, I am. Because I hear people are doing so much better and I'm... Now on the other hand, on the other hand, you know, I count my blessings because I also know people that are having trouble. Uh, they're having side effects, they're having uh, com complications, they're having gallbladder out shell I'm so sorry to hear that happened to you but I'm happy it's done and fixed um, and uh, she had surgery same day as me and she's already had to have her, gall have her gallbladder out so I'm thankful in some respects that you know I might not be losing very fast but knock wood wherever that uh, <laughs> you know hopefully I don't have any complications like that um, Anyway, I don't really know what else to say. Um, maybe I need to up my water. I am getting roughly 60 grams of protein a day. Maybe I need to up my protein. I worry about doing that because if I up my protein, I'm up in my calories and I'm already at 900 to 1,000 calories a day, which is another thing. I'm not supposed to count calories. I'm only supposed to count protein. But the two go together, no matter how you look at it. I'm also thinking maybe just cut out the cheese. Although cheese is good protein, it's also fat. But it's low fat, but it's still fat. All the things that are, all the things that you used to think about before surgery and you used to, oh, I need to do this and that with food. I'm going back to that because I'm not losing as fast as I thought that I would. 
So I obviously am thinking, well, it must be something I'm doing or not doing. So help me out with that. Tell me what you think. Uh, I am getting a little bored with food. I'm eating the same thing every day for the most part. Um, you know, ground turkey, chicken, lunch meat and cheese, eggs for breakfast. Every morning I have one egg, you know. And yeah, I, I'm avoiding cereal, um, cream of wheat, oatmeal, all of that because I don't, I know carbs are, they're not good for my metabolism. So I'm trying to avoid it. Um, I did actually on my birthday have a piece of toast. <gasps> what do you know? Um, it was whole wheat. I could only eat one half of it. But I had a little peanut butter on there and sugar-free jam. And it was good. It was really good. I savored every bite of that. But that was a birthday treat because I couldn't have cake or anything else. So I allowed myself that. Um, now, you know, I'm not going to feel really sorry for myself. Uh, 26 pounds since surgery, but it has been 48 pounds since my pre-op diet. Because I did lose uh, quite a bit of weight for the few weeks that I had to be on OptiFast before surgery. So altogether, it's been 48 pounds, and I'm, I'm feeling good. I have a lot of non-scale victories. I'm going to make a list of them because every time I go to make a video, I can never remember uh, to, to list them all. But there's so many of them. Um, so otherwise... I'll come back in on Wednesday and I'll give my weigh-in report. It might be the same weight that I'm at now and I'm not moving all week or hopefully, please, uh, I'll lose a couple pounds. I uh, hope you guys are having a great week. Thanks again for my birthday gifts, guys. That was just made my day. And uh, I, hope, I hope you got a little appreciation out of Elvis too. I know some of you don't like Elvis, but uh, thank you for bearing with me. While I went through that, I do it every year. So if you're a friend of mine on Facebook, I'm sorry. Uh, you'll get through that next year as well. <laughs> All right. Talk to you later, guys. Have a great week. Bye.